happy new day and the debate continues as to whether to ban single-use plastics in the country or not. Well, after many petitions, President Ekufuado has pledged government's commitment towards the fight against plastic waste pollution. At the launch of Ghana's National Plastic Action Partnership in Accra, he called for behavioral change in waste disposal. Every sector, from local governments to waste management pioneers to young student leaders, Ghanaians are actively contributing to the fight against plastic pollution. We're thus pleased to partner with the Global Plastic Action Partnership to bring together existing efforts, scale up their highly successful initiatives, and fast track our progress towards that collective goal, which is to achieve zero leakage of plastic waste into our oceans and waterways. I also acknowledge the efforts being made by civil society and the media to raise awareness of efficient waste management and existing opportunities for waste recovery in our country. Government is ready to partner with all stakeholders, especially private sector and academia, to drive investment and research into this area. I believe that there's the need for significant behavioral change. And that's the president speaking on this very disturbing issue. Let me quickly let you know that uh, when it comes to plastic waste, every year 8 million metric tons of plastics enter our ocean on top of the estimated 150 million metric tons that currently circulate our marine environments. By 2025, it is expected to double to about 250 million metric tons um, of waste. And back in the studios, we had this conversation last Monday, and he was very specific about some of the things that he expected the president to talk about, including a national policy on plastic waste management, attitudinal change, and waste separation. Joining me again in the studio is Daniel Tonyega, Director for Policy and Sustainability, Federation of Plastic Manufacturers, Recyclers, and Users in Ghana. Good morning. Good How are you morning. doing? Good. How's your weekend? Good? Yeah, it's been good. Okay. Of course, of course. Are you satisfied with the President's policy that he has introduced? Okay. So, thank you so much and thanks for the opportunity. Good, good morning to your yeah. millions of viewers out there. Definitely. Um, yes. Uh, one way or the other, we see a uh, political commitment like this. Mm -hmm. But you see, it, it shouldn't be just statements. Okay. We want you to go beyond statement. Let it be. Let's devoid the rhetorics and mm -hmm. then go into action. Because I, I am saying this based on the fact that when this partnership uh, uh, project was done, well, yeah. I was personally there. Okay. And then uh, I had a chance of inquiring from the technical people. Mm. So where are they? the agreement that Ghana has signed with the global partnership in yeah. this action? Mm -hmm. They said the agreement is not ready. When, now, when did you ask? That was on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Yes. Okay. I asked them and said, oh, it's not ready. Mm. They need to get back to your office and then meet these de delegations that had come from the uh, World Economic uh, Forum, Forum so yeah. that they will sit down and plan it. I said, mm. okay, if that is the case, then the, the, the meeting that we had was not needful because yeah. we should f f furnish ourselves with the, the technical detail. Then we come out to do this public, it. you know. Yes. It was a display of... Uh, to the public gallery what the, the intentions are, mm. which is not bad. Okay. But for Ghana, as we speak today, we are looking for an action-oriented, uh, you know, thoughts. This is what I have done. This mm -hmm. is what I want to do. I have put this one on the table. All stakeholders, let's move towards it. But isn't that what he said, that this is what we intend to do? There's a plastic plan and, you know, we are partnering with these people to make sure that it happens because we're trying to reduce as much waste um, entering our oceans and our environments as possible. Is that not a, a good step? Bella, I can tell you intentions upon intentions that have come and gone. Yeah. That we have not, you know, you know done anything to make those intentions actionable. Mm. I am looking at action. It is, you see, let's devoid the, the, the beautiful or nice statement the president read over there yeah. or that of any other personality that came there. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have been countless of this. Now, I always take people back. But why do I do that? Because mm -hmm. there have been precedents out of this. There have been an action from a previous government mm -hmm. that has come out with this view that maybe our revenue... It's not enough. It's yeah. not. We are not having the capacity in respect of fiscal policy okay. to support government support uh, government finances to drive home effective waste management practices. Mm. So therefore, 
uh, industry must contribute. That's why we have the environmental excise tax. Yeah. Yeah. It came. It, it was promulgated from 2013. Mm -hmm. And as we speak, 2019, Still. it has not been done. It wasn't that an intention. Yeah. It was. Uh, even two years ago, the present government and the Minister of Environment had constituted a very strong committee to do for a, a policy for plastics yeah. in Ghana. Two years down the line, nothing has been done. Is it not an intention? Intention. Mm -hmm. So what the president is saying... It is not anything new to us. Okay. Intentions have come and gone. But what we are looking for is an action. Like mm -hmm. I said earlier, if all these intentions have been heard on, and then we do the technical detail, and then we come out and say, this is our blueprint. This is where we, we want to go. No, from okay. 2000, the European Union came out with a policy yeah. that for every European Union country, by 2020, they, sh they, they, they must see to zero waste to landfills. Mm. As of 2017, I had the privilege of being in, in the Netherlands. They were only having 1% of waste to the landfill. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. There was an action plan yeah. and then there was timelines set to it. So we know that all stakeholders, we are going towards this action. But you are the same people given government pressure you know, to pass some of these laws, the excise tax, to speak on the issue so that we know the way forward. Maybe, yes, you're right, there should have been a technical, um, you know, underground work before coming out to speak. But don't you think that you're the same people who pushed government and the president to at least speak on the issue because you've been asking for answers. And he said it, that, you know, um, he's going to reduce Ghana's reliance on the use of plastics and promote replacement with green alternatives. Is that not a step? Is that not a rhetorical <laughs> it's but too that's a step. Wait, you see, Bella, I, I like that this intervention mm -hmm. that that could be a step. I do not believe it is a step. Okay. Why? Because I believe that when you want to create an alternative, you do your scientific research into the alternative. You know that everything points to its effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Then you know that by by this pronouncement I'm making, there are timelines I've adjusted myself to it. Yeah. So between this period and that period, we will face out single-use plastics. I am for it. Okay. I am for it. Especially mm -hmm. with the fact that if we are coming, to, coming out with a clearly defined which plastics composition we are terming as single-use. Single-use, yeah. So let's go by it. I would be so happy if any of the policy makers will come out to say, okay, now, let's have a roundtable discussion. Yeah. Let's try to itemize them one after the other. These things, we all believe that they are nuisance. Mm. Now, of course... At least we know that if, all if plastics a, under 20... Of course, yeah. under 20 micronage. Yeah. They are, we cannot recycle. No, the issue is we can recycle. We can. But it's about counterproductive. You yeah. are using so much energy and you are getting very, very little. little yeah. So, we even industry believe that recyclability mm. of these are not feasible. So, we agree. Let's come out, atomize. So, okay... Last Ju July, I was on this set. The minister had made mention of the fact that chewing gum have been banned. Yeah. What have you seen? We still have it all over. Thank you. So that's what I'm saying that it shouldn't be more a mere rhetoric. It should be an action based. Let the regulatory uh, uh, framework work. Now, back in 2017, mm. I was part of a technical committee in Ghana Standards Authority that passed a law on auxiliary biodegradable plastics. Mm -hmm. what, what were we trying to say? We were saying that all these single-use plastics were nuisance. Indeed, it is nuisance as of today. So we wanted them, uh, every manufacturer to uh, add auxiliary biodegradable additives to the production, which means if we are not able to uh, uh, recover them, and it goes into the open environment by the mere having access to the sunlight, it degrades okay. within a year. Mm -hmm. Ask me, how many of the uh, industry complied? It was because the regulatory regime was so porous when they go to these, uh, uh, site, these co companies to visit them to see whether they were using... using the, the, the answer is no. Some of them will, will prove some you know, very bad attitude towards them, mm -hmm. and they will not even be sanctioning them. It got to a time, some of us were writing letters to the EPA to increase the sanctional, uh, 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 you know, body of yeah. whatever they were doing. Yeah. Because, can you imagine they go to a whole plastic site, and then they are making a very good production, and because they found themselves culpable, they will try to find a way of, you know, coercing with the authorities. Mm -hmm. It is not the best. When we are coming out with sanctioning regime, let it be tight, let everybody comply. And then before you before you said Jack, your timelines are being met. Yeah, because being met. if you okay. say within a year we are facing off 
uh, single-use plastic. What are the alternatives? We can even come out with this uh, oxo mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. thoughts. We make it a stronger policy. We make the regulatory regime stronger. Yeah. We make those who are going to visit various uh, factories, you know, with police officers. Okay. Go with some guns. Go with people. That they will you want them to carry guns in, in this no, you situation? See, it, it's, it's an idea that, of yeah. letting people know that if we came with our papers and pens and you do not respect us, we are coming what with guns. Mean? If you are not complying, we will close down your factory. Then we will go out. Now, if you know the number of the revenue you will lose within a day to a week, you right yourself do the right thing. Okay. Now, the president also mentioned during his speech that they, they are open to partnering with private institutions and with other people in order to educate people more, especially on behavioral change, which is another aspect that you touched on the last time. Yes. Is that also not a good thing? It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Is it, are you ready I, to partner? Because you see, all of us are saying that we expect government to be the ones to do the technical work and all of that. But now he's opened it up and he's saying that we need people on board. Clearly, we cannot do this all by ourselves. All right. We need people like you on board to help us make that change. Okay. So why are we not rather looking for ways by which we can then partner government instead of sitting down and saying they should have done this and should have done that. And so until they do it, then it means that nothing can be done. Okay. Unfortunately, we from our part mm. are not sitting on the on the fences. Mm. We are always with them. In fact, the Ministry of Environment will attest to the fact that most of the the the, the advocacy and uh, the work we do mm. when it comes to uh, behavioral change and what have you, uh, we do a partnership with them, and they, they can attest to that. In fact, last June we were not even looking into Ghana. We were looking at the fact that if Ghana comes out with the best of policies. Mm -hmm. And the neighboring countries are not doing what we are doing. I don't know, they, these waste that enters into the ocean environment will continue to increase. You know why? Uh -huh. Because they will not do their rightful waste management, waste management. practices. Even so if we are doing we it. Are doing. Yeah. So what we did, we did a, a, a conference where we invited all the stakeholders within the West African sub-region. Okay. In Accra here. Mm. So we are doing our part. In fact... Uh, with the president's call, I think it will even increase the leverage with which we tra we approach them. Yeah. It will it will continue to expand the frontiers with which we come together mm -hmm. in planning for behavioral change uh, practices. Uh, let me take you back to uh, Choco about two years ago. Okay. We went there. We didn't even go as a federation. We went there with other partners. Mm. G graphic communications were there. Okay. Espada, the environmental service providers, yeah. were there. Zoom Lion. They were all supporting. We went there to do a beach cleanup. The, let me tell you this, uh, this very bad story, but I need to say it on tell this us, platform. Tell us, we would like to know. Now, can you imagine we went there, mm -hmm. with, we have already written letters to the assemblyman to just uh, give the information to the locals that this is what was going to happen on the 1st of May 2017. Yeah. Now, we went there, when they, they gave us the place where we need to clean. We said we wanted to clean, clean a, a stretch. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started doing it, the, the local people came and told us that, why are we cleaning there? Yeah. Why they asked you why? Why, you why why are we coming there with our, our cleaning implements mm -hmm. to clean the beach? And we said, oh, well, we felt it was our civic responsibility and the social responsibility as corporate entities yeah. to do some of these things in order to curb the waste that goes into the ocean environment. They said, no, these areas belong to clients. Clans, sorry. Okay, clans. Uh, clans. Okay. So, therefore, if we are coming there to clean, you need to consult them and pay them. They you demanded pay them money. For cleaning the environment. They demanded money for us to before we can do this. We said we don't have money. We came to do this a uh, social responsibility. Yeah. They said okay, if that's the case, we are counting ten. If you don't move, we are organizing our tax to come and chase you. We need we moved from the the, the, the premises. Wow. So this without is without cleaning. Without we didn't we couldn't do anything. In fact we had a a, a UK organization that was even sponsoring us mm. to do this. And we need to take some footage to them. And they were marveling. Ah, somebody is coming to help you to clean your own environment mm -hmm. and you are chasing them out yeah. because you, they, they must pay you before you do. These are some of the challenges. Attitudinal change is a widespread a challenge that, you know, NCC must be involved. Yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to even say it on this platform that in June, when we organized the conference, mm -hmm. we invited the chairperson and she, she came okay. and we told her. In fact, it's a... a some kind of a bilateral relationship the Federation is having with them that for wherever we go, we want them to partner us with that so that they, they will use their offices
to propagate yeah. this yeah. so that we change our attitude. Do you think that the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources has been very supportive in this campaign? Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking questions where they were not hearing much about them. We only hear about them maybe when there's a flood or, you know, and all of that. Have they been very resourceful in this plastic waste management campaign? Bella, it's unfortunate Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resource are having the best of technical brains. Mm. Yet yes. they lose about $290 million I, I, annually. I, I, I'm surprised. In fighting, yeah. But they, they have all these technical brains. I know some people I have that personal relationship with. Yeah. Who hitherto were working from different sectors. Mm -hmm. For example, AMA mm. and some other, other institutions. institutions. But all of them have been you know, uh, uh, employed or better still, giving them uh, contracts with the uh, Minister of Sanitation. And yet, for me, I do not see their works. At all. Especially when it comes to sanitation. Mm. Now, well, you may disagree with me, mm -hmm. but for want of a better word, if only you see the minister going around municipalities to inspect them of what they have done or what they have not been doing, mm. it is not the core mandate. I believe okay. that the core mandate should have been more technically inclined where you plan strategies to keep, you know, uh, these thoughts that is engulfing us. Mm -hmm. You see, we all talk about plastics, but the, the reality is that plastic contributes only 14%, maximum 15% of our waste stream. Okay. So you can imagine if we are talking about only 15% as a huge national catastrophe, mm -hmm. then what is then the real... About? Yeah. So these are the realities. I believe that the technical people in the Ministry of uh, Sanitation are doing their best, mm -hmm. but maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, policy outline is not giving them the opportunity to shine out uh, to the general public to let them know what they are really doing okay because i can i can i can salute the competence of some few people i have worked with over the are years are you not saying this because they are your friends and so you wouldn't want to put them in a bad light on mm, national television? not not to that extent because okay. even when we you know i i i do more of advocacy and mm. for o over the years that's what we've been doing and mm. we've been having this strong relationship with them okay now when you when you meet them in, in a more technical inclined meetings, mm -hmm. the kind of contributions they will bring him to bear, you realize that we have every brain that Needed. must help us to succeed. Okay. But unfortunately, when they are under policy, you know, directives, they are unable to do, you know, you can't go beyond your bounds. Maybe they are correct to do within their own mm. uh, remits what yeah. they, they ought mm -hmm. to do. But of course, <laughs> you can't blame them because... Uh, 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 a, a, a worker within a ministry must comply with the directives with which mm. the minister is, is giving up. Okay. But for me, the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources are not living up to expectation. Okay. So you still stand on the fact that national policy on waste management has not been um, put in place. And so that makes it difficult for us to manage our plastic waste. Obviously, because okay. it encompasses everything we need to have, to, have. To, to curb this manage. Okay. Everything. Because it's from, it's from uh, the attitudinal change through, uh, what do you call it, waste management, okay. industry, EPRs, and what have you. Everything is encompassed in there. I was privileged to be part of the, the team that, that did a review. Mm. And I can say for sure that if today it moves out of cabinet mm. and it becomes a national policy, we may see... A, a good environment in the Definitely. near future. Definitely. And behavioral change is also number one on the list. It's important that you and I learn to keep our environments clean. Let's learn to separate our waste as well. And hopefully moving forward, we can reduce the amount of plastic waste that enters our oceans because it, it, it's it, killing us. It, it's, it's a fact that the revised national sanitation uh, 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 policy, policy. That, was, that was done in 2010 mm. was urging Ghanaians mm -hmm. that we should be responsible in that, that source yeah. separation of waste. Exactly. So it's not something new. Nine years down the line, we have not done anything. All we do is keep talking. But of course, uh, we're looking forward to some change, of course, with uh, people like you involved in the campaign as well. So Daniel Ch Tonyega, Director for Policy and Sustainability, Federation of Plastic Manufacturers, Recyclers and Users in Ghana. Thank you again. A very passionate appeal to government. Don't worry, it will happen. We all need it to happen. And